Mini mod Monday, this time 10 top quality of life mods that will make your game more pleasant. Let's start with a better automation overlay, mod made by Ace. This mod includes the settings you put in in the overlay view. Comparing this to the non-modded version, you have to click everything to check what settings might be wrong. Next up is the combined conduit display made by Pether PG. This mod helps you see more clearly where the conveyorials are actually going. If you compare this to the base game, there you have the buildings obstruct the path of the conveyor rail. Let's check this again in the cinematic mode, mod and no mod. Another great mod is built over plants, über Pflanzenbauen. This is a mod made by Alex. With the mod activated you will find out how easy it is to actually plan out your buildings now. No more digging up all the plants first or missing parts in your construction setup. If you compare this to the base game, there it is a literal pain in the butt to plan anything around plants. You can't place any buildings over them and have to root them up to plan anything in advance. Then I have another mod made by Ace called No Notification Sounds, which does exactly what it says. It gets rid of most of the annoying notification sounds. Not all of them, but quite a lot. Next up is one of my new favorites, called Schedule Master and made by Ed Oni. Check out how absolutely amazing easy it is now to move a schedule around. And it is even more obvious how amazing this is if you compare this to the base game, where you literally have to delete every single spot and place them anew. You even have more options in the mod settings, where you can configure automatically assigning new duplicates to the schedule that has the least assigned duplicates. Or even better, create new schedules every time you reach a certain number of dupes. For example, 4. Then a new schedule is created, which will be moved by X blocks from the current already existing schedule. Next up is the better information card mod made by Ace. As you can see in the background, my one tile storage is pretty much stuffed, but we can still see what is inside of it. And don't worry, you can set the window and font size as well as other stuff in the mod settings yourself. The positive aspects of this mod get especially apparent compared to the regular game. We can't even see what is inside this one tile storage at all without zooming out a lot. And even then we can't see everything. The next one could be directly exported from City Skylines. It is called Traffic Visualizer and the mod is made by Asquared31415. First you leave the game running for a bit, about one or two cycles, and then you can press the tiny little button in the top right corner. This will activate the traffic overlay, showing you your dupes pathing and the speed of that. Let's check a few more places. This here is the Wade's Planet. It does have a few more red areas where we could improve our travel time by plastic tiles or metal tiles, or maybe even more transit tubes. Let's check out another one and this time guess where the dupes are running. And here we go to the traffic overlay, press the button and now we can see that our dupes get caught up in this area right here. And now we arrived at the top 3 mods. If you liked this video so far, how about leaving a like or a comment. The next mod is called Automatic Geyser Calculation and it is made by Mezi or Mezi. If you're not using the mod, you only get the information of how much the geyser or volcano will erupt per second and how long the eruption period is. If you analyze the geyser, you will even get the active period as well. Now compare this with the mod. Here you will get additional information about the active average flow and if inspected by a dupe, even the total average flow. As well as some additional information about the buffer you would need to achieve that and the heat energy put out. As you may know, I absolutely love suppressed notifications. Mod made by Ace. Those tiny little red symbols annoy the heck out of me and now you can just press suppress notification, which will get rid of the red symbol. This setting will be saved and it can even be copied over to other buildings of the same type like this. Comparing before and after does make a big difference. Still on the number one spot for me right now is the Pliers Fixed mod by Fenex Dragon and PT Jefferson. The art for the button was made by Folith and the original Pliers mod was made by Majil. Sorry if I said any of them incorrectly. This mod allows you to use the scissor symbol in the lower right corner to cut any pipe or cable that you desire. It is just as easy as reconnecting them. This can save you a lot of trouble rerouting your pipes. No more deconstruction needed. I hope this video earned your subscription and if you liked this you probably will also like the video on the screen right now.